I have the lovely Prashasti Singh and the lovely Saurav Mehta. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's me. Welcome everybody. Uh, we obviously have, uh, as Saurav Mehta rightly mentioned, uh, the main host of <laughs> <laughs> veteran. <laughs> veteran. I'm just very noticeable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. we have Saurav has come for the first time. Uh, Saurav and I actually go way back. That's right. You know, he was uh, in a family in Kolkata and mm-hmm. I went to his house, pulled yes. him out. Yes. And uh, he came to Bombay with me in yep. a train compartment. I, I hid him <laughs> yeah. from the cops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they tried to separate us. And then we reached uh, VT station. And then um, we got lost. He's like, mujhe, mujhe ice cream chahiye. I said, nahi, beta, nahi. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm like, sort of, sort of. And then five years later, I found out an open mic. Yeah, dude. And he's like, Crazy. that's what I want to do. And On record, I'd like to put one of the <laughs> kindest traffickers I've ever come across. <laughs> yeah. I have not come across just because it's, it's just, you didn't want it but you're a child how do you yeah. know what you want but this yeah. is a true story Kenny uh, came to Calcutta and he was like Saurav you need to do comedy and I was like why am I funny he's like no you speak English very well <laughs> so, I did not say that <laughs> Kenny was really impressed and people no, in Calcutta was... <laughs> are speaking English like this he's like whoa I thought only Bangaloreans speak good English okay. but he was maybe, flummoxed maybe there's Wow, five per- <laughs> flummox. There was five percent there. Where uh, usually when you're touring, this is so. When was this? Which year was this? This was 2017 or 16, if I'm not wrong. A while ago. Must while have been ago. 16, I think. Yeah, yeah because Something you came like to that. Mumbai somewhere in the. I came to of- Mumbai. Uh, yeah, end of 2016 because yeah. demonetization happened and I was there. So that's like November. <laughs> yeah. Also, so, they're also besties, precious things. Yeah. Yes. So. We started yes. our careers together. Guys, listen, <laughs> even if you don't put up stuff on Instagram, you can be friends. Okay? Yeah. We, like, nobody oh. sees anything. Yeah, that's but, true. Uh, yeah. But yeah, at that time touring, you rarely, I mean, stand up is so new that yeah. you never. You f- if somebody opened for you, yeah. that's cause they have not done a lot of stand up. Yeah. So you expect that, but sort of went up like. Fully killing and confident and this is my <laughs> voice. Yeah, that's what I remember. How do you have such a strong voice? The thing is, already when you don't know comedy, I think you do it better. Yeah. Genuinely. No, no. Because it was my, I think my second show, I remember telling but you. But I also relate to that. Yeah. That when you knew and you, ha- the thing is, and you don't think of it as your career. Yeah. You're like, you know what? Yeah. 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 Be yeah. <laughs> because at that time, I wasn't trying to impress the yeah. audience, you, anyone. I was just like... It was free. They didn't have money to pay for someone. So I was like, I'm going to do it. It's great. And then I just went. Dude, I was so new that time that I had done one show before that, like a tiny one. And I thought material couldn't be repeated. So I literally in two days just wrote whatever. <laughs> wow. And then, no, it's not. But that's the thing. Now that I know comedy, like, how dare you? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But the, thanks for recognizing my English. <laughs> yeah. No, so it was, it was uh, uh, I think because uh, when I was in Bangalore, Tanme and Daniel and uh, Sandeep kept telling me I should go to Bombay. And I think it's, I really appreciate some external voice oh, telling yeah, me. Yeah, for sure. So I was just like, I think sort of, I don't know if you underestimate yourself, but you should really be in oh, Bombay. Man, but really, actually, it's yeah. you and Abish that. <laughs> yeah, no, Abish is, yeah. says that too. He's too supportive. Yeah. He's not counting. No, because Abish, I generally just sent him a message on Facebook saying, hey, yeah. I have this page. Uh, he's like, do you do stand up? I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> I just have, I just had one clip from this show only, I think. And I just sent it to him. He's like, yeah, you look interesting. You want to come write for three <laughs> months? I said, yeah. And that time my plan was that I wanted to do MBA. So I was like, this is great on my CV. Because oh. I had job, business and everything. Uh, so I was like, this is amazing. They're going to think I'm a whole rounded like personality. <laughs> yeah. So then I came here and then uh, as they say, I should have gone back. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so I was full form today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's, uh, uh, that's what, so when I was like, I, I, you need to know how, it's also like, you know, we keep talking about it, like when you see bad comedy, you have like 12, 13 notes, but when you see good comedy, you're like, it's, it's good. There's no, so that is how it was with sort of. I'm done with the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) I can go. Yeah. But when you just said you started our career together, it just hit me that you were in season one together. Yeah. (laughs) I completely forgot. I fully wow, you forgot? forgot? <laughs> yeah, it's so long ago. That's yeah. true. That's I true. fully forgot. forgot it, yeah. But we were 
sort of friends before we used to do uh, yeah. open mics yeah. we used to meet in open mics and uh, but we were not close we were friends friends but yeah. it's like oh hey prashasti yeah so our cheeks <laughs> yeah that's been going on he since. loves that yeah. when, yeah. prashasti he loves when you bring that up <laughs> <laughs> no he does <laughs> yeah. we have this weird it's, it's, the thing is i'm not a very touchy person oh <laughs> only what? i am <laughs> hey what did you just mm. say that <laughs> uh <laughs> I don't touch people. Oh my God! <laughs> what is it? What is it? You literally, you're you're defining traits of oh. touchy people. Yeah, yeah. Only right. well, with friends. Uh, well, with friends. With I, friends. I, I, I hit people a lot. Okay. But, yeah. but I get excited. Yeah. I hit people, but I don't like. I don't touch. Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> no you don't touch of... like this. <laughs> but you're very like. Yeah, I am a patty. You person. pat right. and you. Yeah. 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 But with sort of things are different. Mm. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Do there have been times of randomly you'll just see Prashasti doing this uh, and now people are like, "What the fuck is this equation yeah. they have? What kind of friendship That's is this?" That's not cool. That's yeah. not cool. You yeah. can tell her the truth. How you feel about it? I love it. Actually. <laughs> okay, fine. Because <laughs> not a lot of people are touchy with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we were in Kasi then one together, and before yeah, that we used yeah. to yeah meet in uh, some open mics, and both of us had the same attitude that you know, हम तो हम हमें पता है दुनिया के बारे में हम काम करके आए हैं हमने job की हुई है ये छोड़े बच्चे आ गए हैं. No, that is true, but. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had too That's much true. attitude. It yeah. is true. Okay. So, uh so I have this uh, long recording yes. of us talking works is we have questions from the audience. Ooh. So, last night mm-hmm. I put up a story on Instagram saying can you give some questions and oh my god. <laughs> the world have. wants to talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was the world wants to talk and it was very heartwarming. Lot of questions are very uh, sweet and cute and all. and my brain was very excited mm-hmm. what you both will say today so the goal is to not give advice goal is to just talk about what uh, how you have experienced the same thing okay some questions i've only chosen because of the subject matter got it so you don't have to literally answer got it you can just pick up on the subject okay. matter so got it are you ready for first question yeah yeah first question okay So uh, I put some heavy, some light, because I feel I've been very unfair to Prashant. See, like okay. <laughs> I ask her the worst deep questions, nice. and then she pauses and she's like, "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I came and have fun." <laughs> so I put some light one. Nice. There, so okay. And then I go back and then process it for another week. This question was. I thought, "Why didn't you ask me about this?" Oh yeah. my God! No, I realize that's not fair to do to your friends <laughs> who are coming to be part of your yeah. thing, and then you're like, "Yeah, what's going on? Why are you?" I enjoy it also. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, I'll, okay. Speaking of which, I'll start with the heavy one. Okay. Uh, this is from Gina. Uh, she says, "Hello, Kenny. I love the recording of you talking. I feel like this one thing I've accepted is that no one's coming to save you, and no one's actually there to look out for you. Not even your family. In the long run, you're only just gonna have yourself, and it is what it is. Especially if you're a girl. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She just. I love how she kind of verbalized the base. Everything. There's a base yeah. emotion where yeah. all of us have felt. Um, ki uh, see, all of this is yeah. saying, but I know when fucking shit happens, I only have to yeah, take care of it. Yeah, so yeah. it happens with flatmates, happens with family, happens in relationships. Uh, but she said, especially as a girl, no, yeah. which is interesting because um, I obviously, as a dude, <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for dragging me. No, <laughs> <laughs> is uh, there's also been moments where, as a dude, you don't feel uh, you feel emotionally very. Mm. Well. uh but obviously uh, uh girls famously prosecuted <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, so the, the is this uh, can you truly not stop feeling this way how do you guys feel uh, uh since she said especially as a girl i think i should answer first yeah, of course. as i have the perspective correct no nobody joking go, go. <laughs> okay uh no i was saying i think she, that i understand the sentiment of saying especially as a girl because i think it Society gives us the opposite message. Like as women, we end up depend. We end up thinking that our life is more dependent. Mm. Uh, you know, if you don't t- till you really grow up and unlearn so many things, your your whole perspective of life is that okay, I have a family right now. I have a you know you really if you if you if you're coming from a good healthy family, okay, your dad is your hero. Okay, your mother is probably your hero as well. But she's one person who gives you all these. Uh, you know, ideas that home mm. power equation is on a chair, and then you you fed this message. Okay, that even if you're very independent, if you if you don't get an arranged marriage, you will find love, mm. and that love will come and take care of you. Mm. Like taking care of you because you are a fragile being in mm. this world. Somewhere is just it's how society 
functions okay is the no one will say it to you but will pe- you pick up that message and that's why the earner unlearning becomes even more brutal yeah. because i think uh, everyone yeah. at some point realizes yeah. that you know uh, we have to really you have to be self sufficient yeah. or you have to have enough love in your heart for yourself to sustain mm. a good healthy life but i think a for women it's just a very much more brutal and underst- like learning plus we, i think for us All of us just work with this timeline in life. No, it's time to get married. 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 It's time counter opinion to this also that i feel uh, ki all of us i think we've grown up enough to understand that we have to be okay on our own you have to be at peace alone mm. but i really also feel that uh, like one thing that was an one thought it occurred to me recently when i was going through a very low phase was that uh, 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 my how to love myself okay is a template i have actually learned from how my friends have shown me unconditional love okay mm-hmm. when i've been like the whole idea because my parents for You're example welcome. Uh, thank you <laughs> <laughs> but no that's true right yeah. because i think uh, when i was growing up my parents were genuinely trying to be the best parents but mm-hmm. i think in my heart it was if i perform well if i mm-hmm. do good at my studies that is mm-hmm. when i'll get their love mm-hmm. so i think i had no t- understanding of how to unconditionally love mm-hmm. anyone or yourself for that mm-hmm. matter and if i had not had a bunch of friends throughout my college years or after that who have been close to me and who actually just accepted me mm-hmm. and loved me for whoever i am i would not have known how to love myself unconditionally yeah. or do it for someone else so i do feel ki this also is equally important mm-hmm. you don't have to be dependent on it but mm-hmm. i think you have you can acknowledge and be thankful for it Fair. that's my answer no. <laughs> no. Ah. how did you is so, i think about these things yeah, only all the time <laughs> it was dude surprisingly uh, yeah. well covered very nice yeah i am spiritually enhanced genuinely <laughs> It yeah, felt cathartic. Uh, it was yeah. Sorry, <laughs> my words will now sound hollow. Yeah, but, uh, guys, you can't compete with no. no of course, of course. Summarization. I'm not, <laughs> not here at all. It's also because I think uh, I've genuinely I've been through same, that very same. strongly. Yeah. So yeah. You know what? Yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I've also gone through this and. Firstly, I agree with her sentiment completely, and of course, the disclaimer is that especially the woman part. I don't know. There's an added layer. Yeah. But uh, so that would as a dude, a, as a dude. But uh, the core sentiment that it's basically you. I agree with her. The only disclaimer is that I've genuinely had very kind parents. Yeah. Uh, where I do feel if I'm ever in trouble, they'll be there for me. That is there. The second thing that's really helped me in, of course, especially when you're young. Um, I think we also have a lot of misplaced expectations. I think we're not aware of how the world works. The honest truth is there only going to be two three people who actually care mm. about you. And I think over time I've realized that you know it's not the group that you go out on a Saturday night or a Friday that makes sense. You have to identify the two three people who actually have a bond with you and it it and however that percolates, okay? So you have to identify that. And second thing is I'm not trying to say I'm cool or like wow I'm so evolved or anything, but I realize that I am very selfish. There have been times when mm. friends have reached out to me or families reached out to me, and I it just doesn't matter to me as much as I know it matters to them. They are going through something, and I know it's a very big deal. But I know that it's only for a few friends that I I would actually put in the effort yeah. to make them feel better. Where for the others it's not that. So that's made me realize that I also can't have such expectations from everyone because just how I feel selfish about things. Maybe when I reach out to X, they also like, "Bye, I don't care this much about it." And Prashanti and I have had this discussion, you know, a few times about death. You know, when, when because now we're at that age where people are dying around us. I've mm-hmm. had, you know, people like my friends and everyone dying, and you know, we've all gone through it. And I remember we yeah. discussed it that, you know, the thing is, it's the it's like a major, major event in that person's life. Mm-hmm. And as much as you try to empathize, you're nowhere close to what they are feeling. Okay. Yeah. So oh, that's a great example you have to go through it. Yeah, yourself. you have to go through it because yeah. I hadn't experienced any personal death for a long time but when I experienced it and compared to how I used to respond to people there is such a wide gap. And sometimes it's not even lack of sincerity from the other side but it's like 
I don't want to say it morbid, but it's like when your parents pass away, nobody's yeah. going to feel that pain. It's yeah. impossible, yeah. no matter what anyone tells you with the best of intentions. So I think just moments like these have made me realize that yeah, it's just me. But you know what? You got to make the most of it and just try to find those two, three people. Maybe it's friends, maybe it's family, and just have expectations from them. Because just the quantity, if you decrease it, I think you just become a little less bitter. Maybe bitter is a harsh word, but you just become a little more accepting. And the second thing is also know that those two, three people also they can have shit going on of in course, their life. Yeah. yeah. The only two people that I would feel sad if they're not there for me are my parents. That's it. Mm. Yeah. That's that's the bottom line. Also, the good thing about growing up is that you are this aware and you. can communicate at this level to your friends also mm. like i know that with my friends now i can be like i like i have this expectation of you mm. but it's okay if you, you know yeah. because when you when you're young we just assume that Why friendship they, yeah. is by default or yeah. you know even relationships you like you know there are this default templates of expectations mm. that we just assume will happen yeah. but when you grow up and you realize this fundamental fact that people by default uh you know have their own thing going and it's it's not a given that people will be there yeah. for you just because there is an equation between yeah. you i think it becomes If you put it on the table, it it just becomes easy for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We we because we discuss this mm. now when some bad thing happen, we know that okay he's trying, but I can't mm. expect him to feel what I'm feeling. Yeah. So. Yeah. Before I forget, uh, there was a lot of questions around friendship, which I will get to in case I forget. Okay. Mm. But what I want to add was I think the uh, recent like last few years realization is uh, no nobody's uh, purposely. Not there for you, yeah. Mm. Uh, and uh, even like I think this came about from negotiations, where I was just like, why when we negotiate something work-wise, why do I have to aggressively push back? Like why can't we both just do what's best for each yeah. other? But then it hit me that how most situations are that one party is always. protecting what's best for them mm. and they're like i hope you're doing the same yeah uh because the other option is kind of insane if you think about it ki oh not only really am i looking out for my i'm mm. also going out of my way to think about yeah. what you would like yeah. Yeah. then he said you think oh why would any mm. same person in a negotiation mm. be like this is what we want but we feel you like this also yeah. so <laughs> ye bhi bhi thrown yeah. in <laughs> and then it started hitting me that uh, even friendships is like um especially like since i'm married uh yeah. <laughs> like there are many times where any sort of thing that my partner does or i've done to my partner is not that i op- like consciously was like i'm going to neglect mm. this mm. fucker badly but it's just like no i uh, was so busy and wound up in taking care of myself that i coincidentally forgot about you got it uh so then I feel like most situations are like that. I think very few people are truly evil, yeah. and they're yeah. like, "I I knew you needed me, but I purposely yeah. wasn't there." Oh, yeah, it's just like the hands are full, or they're so struggling to keep yeah. their life. Also, I think there's a lot of time there's a huge communication gap yeah. about like. I've really seen it where sometimes people think that X is like Y is their best friend, but yeah. Y in their yeah. head is like <laughs> yeah. I mean they're good friends, but <laughs> oh my god, that happens so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're a very very close friend. You're like what? What? <laughs> and you know, oh. sometimes it's just like for example, someone come up, Prashasti and I are best friends. I'm like no, I know how she is, <laughs> and they're not. A lot mean. of people think. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's very heartbreaking when you find out Prashasti is not your best friend. Yeah. Oh my, she's rejected you. <laughs> and i think a lot of times it's just as simple as that people yeah. and assume that i thought we had a bond brother no it's <laughs> you have misread the situation okay. yeah and it's very heartbreaking when you find out also ki yeah. you yeah. done little oh you did a little too much for them yeah. Yeah. and you're like yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. they are not uh, yeah, dude, oh. reciprocating oh, okay okay fine but i think some people are i think it's rarely it, it rarely happens but it also is i'm not that person okay people just think i'm your best friend because <laughs> i <laughs> give so them that impression <laughs> but no some people actually are so such big personas yeah. or they are so genuinely yeah. present and they yeah. can be so nice to everyone in the room that they don't even they're not even trying but you end up thinking ki maybe you know because you're talking yeah. about yourself <laughs> yeah. okay i know you said oh, it's not about me it's like but here are some yeah. of my top 5 <laughs> yeah yeah but um, yeah. yeah so the so i got 
around like 300 questions and nice. i think i can say a good 30% of them was an inter- again this is my inference from all the of questions course. all of them were around uh, it's very hard as i'm getting older to find genuine friends oh. who mm-hmm. reciprocate and what's happened is friendship on the decline and um, friendship is over <laughs> yeah <laughs> the overall is concept a market, of friendship is a market is, on a yes. downturn <laughs> it's a recession going up, friendship is going yeah. down <laughs> <laughs> Fresh in the recession, yeah. and yeah. and uh, then as is reading, I could see a pattern. Ki this is also so, self-induced that it it was around ki everybody is being individualistic, everybody is kind of seeking what they want first, mm. and then I realized oh this is the part and parcel of if you are being individualistic and focusing on mm. yourself. some other person sees mm. that as you don't have time for me yeah. Yeah. and yeah. you don't care about genuine and, and this person's complaining why has nobody yeah. had time for me because yeah. everybody's on their um, own yeah yeah i also have an uncle theory about this where we love uncle theories Mama, that simple can this, this is why i was like kenny i need to be on the podcast yeah. Uh, yeah. i came back from calcutta because i was like i need to express my uncle opinion yeah nobody yeah. leaves calcutta it was so only youths are coming to the yeah. show yeah <laughs> they like the kenny <laughs> Oh man, is this uh, the oldest in terms of age-wise? That on but why do you have to bring? No, no, I'm asking. <laughs> What's well, a good question? Because well, generally, I see. I'll tell you the last one I saw at Shreeja and Shamik, who I know. They are their children. Very, yeah. yeah, Shamik is pretty old. Shamik is pretty. Shamik is our age. How old is Shamik? Yeah, yeah, I think he's mine. Why do I have to reveal age on podcast? Then I have to say mine okay, also. Fair. No, <laughs> you don't have to. Nobody <laughs> asked your age, but just see. Nobody is a young eight. <laughs> 20s yeah. just turned 21 just yeah. oh my god i decided on 28 actually that to be my new age oh, okay, okay. but we'll talk about it in a different podcast. okay guys so now i'm older than prashasti <laughs> apparently so how old i'm you? 33 how old is kv kv is old kv is i think 2 years older than yeah, me yeah yeah or 2 or 3 so i think all of us in similar yeah. range that way yeah. yes uh, basically the people you see <laughs> hanging together or <laughs> too lord guys i just want to clear <laughs> that this is not some democratic podcast <laughs> I yeah. only call people who are my friends. Hundred percent. So I'm sorry we don't have we have not age represented a lot of people or genders. Yeah. Or, so I'm sorry, but uh, I pay for this. So. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> uncle opinion. Yeah. Oh yeah, uncle opinion was. Ha. Huh. I feel like you know in movies you know how uh, movies has abused your expectation of romance. Yeah. I think similarly movies and sitcoms have also abused your expectations of friendship, because when you actually understand friendship, I think the The main issue is this: Why do you keep thinking that X, Y, Z is always going to be there for you? That's a crazy expectation. I feel. Yeah. Dude, I think most healthy friendships are, and I think I've had healthier friendships as I've aged is because it's very clear what I want, yeah. and both of us understand the requirement of space, and also re- understand that okay, I know for sort of this is crazy, so I'll be there for him for this twenty whatever days. and the understanding yeah. that for things and it's about understanding that person and you know doing this rationing i think the problem with friendship is people expect the same level of intensity and commitment throughout yeah no you should be aware that and you should tell your friends also that listen when stock market goes down i feel extra sad come to me <laughs> yeah. you know just whatever it is for you yeah and like we are terrible through breakups okay so if i am going through a breakup prashasti knows brother this yeah. guy needs help you yeah know? we eat so much food together <laughs> like i've not even had a real break up in my life in the, but i've eaten so much with him <laughs> so yeah. yeah if you don't mind sharing what is the ideal routine that will cheer sir up oh my god i know the rest so basically <laughs> we is... spent months doing it basically uh we'll sit together okay and then uh, we'll sit together and then like you know it's all at, home. Huh? at home at yeah. home yeah. it's home it okay? can be public no no, no, no. no. we love home typically out at home. early evening or afternoon yeah. no, not yeah. late because we need time okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> things have to be delivered yeah. oh, so zoom then yeah. delivered so again so it's a five hour minimum oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, a full yeah, thing yeah 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 and so we will i mean we start the hang thing You know, we won't make it heavy, okay, buddy. We won't. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm not very angsty at all. Okay, but both of us know it's yeah. gonna get angsty yeah. really soon. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then we like uh, we start talking like, "Kori, should we order some food? Yeah, what food? Yeah. Okay." Then we order one savory course. Okay, oh. so the savory Ooh. items typically things which don't need plates. Okay, yes. so Ooh. like a roll or a burger or fries yeah. or okay. all Again, of them. See, this is what I'm saying. Friendship. You see the nuances yeah. she knows. That's Quite what I'm saying. Yeah. Now I'm very yeah. excited for the next. Yeah. Course. <laughs> The and then course. we have we I think a lot of joy and then the conversation starts it starts becoming angsty and whatever sad but uh, and your hands are free there's no plates so yeah, yeah. right mm-hmm. now the food has not come actually oh. and then we time it okay <laughs> whatever we ordering has some crunch element to yes. it okay oh. and 
and when we eat that we probably will w- w- want something sweet mm. uh, but then the sweet thing also has to be timed in a yes. way that by the time we eat it yeah. we eat the crunch element okay yes. that thing remains in its form also because <laughs> the sweet thing we like it a little cold yeah. so we need that 15 minutes in the fridge time we're very yeah. good yeah. I know yeah. we're very, we're good, very at good at this <laughs> my <laughs> next question how many breakups have you had to perfect this schedule no, no, it's just one but it's a long time yeah. Yeah. he had a, I keep having my yeah, yeah. like I'm non yeah. breakup yeah. sadnesses yeah, yeah. where oh there's a potential there's potential here but it's not <laughs> <laughs> so oh so, my god but this is savory, cool. savory then something uh, and of course there has to be a cola okay, yeah. sort of loves thumbs uh, up uh, and doulas <laughs> so, so no, we are pretty times, similar man yeah, yeah. A lot of times, before we order food this course already has yeah. been managed that okay yeah. there has to be cold cola and uh, blue lace and then savory the, but the whole idea is ke tak savory ka item khatam kare tab tak the sweet item has been put in the yes. fridge for the right amount of time and then the sweet things come out and then we eat and then we like wow this is nice then we take a tatak mod baatein kar chuke hote hain then we take a break to watch something okay? no, <laughs> because now feeling so what's being exhausted by that <laughs> yeah. dude and the thing is people think comedians are always joking and all you know dude, yeah. when we are sad cuz we have so many feelings you yeah, yeah, yeah. just like ha prashanti dende and then and then she is also ha and then we're like okay now we need to watch something <laughs> yeah and then by the end of it if someone has sort of messaged it was so popular okay. <laughs> 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 like what do you want to include this person yeah, yeah, in the yeah, hang yeah. like okay maybe they add some you know who else can... <laughs> needs me <laughs> so that's typically yeah. the routine yeah. Yeah. wow <laughs> that's awesome like yeah, any yeah um, I yeah. mean, we. I mean, we have we published this service now. It's it's very exclusive yeah. service. Okay? Yeah, like yeah. It doesn't. It's not for everyone. Yeah. I, I hope you're not reveal the rest because you should save it. Yeah. <laughs> not everyone yeah. should <laughs> get this free knowledge yeah. for free. Premium content on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to their <laughs> breakup yeah. plan. But have you had? A, have you had a like a. a thing What's like this order? because now you're a married man yeah. Yeah. but in your youthful days yeah. of uh, heartbreaks yeah. and friends having heartbreaks like can you relate to this is this a common thing no problem? i wish i'm very <laughs> envious of your lovely friendship because i have very unhealthy habits my oh, which is go to habit is to isolate no mm. okay yeah i full go into hibernation got it uh it Yeah, because I feel back in the days I feel very mm. guilty to be sad. <laughs> wow, what? Yeah, yeah. Explain. Well, well, guilty, guilty to be or sad. Uncool? No, no, no. Guilty. Guilty to be yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. In, because you. Why would you guilty? Like, guilty is a very specific like, explain, emotion. Yeah. Actually, it's guilt. Yeah, it's guilt. It's not. It's not uncool. Yeah, because I've never heard anyone feeling guilty. My fear is immediately someone would be like, "Get over it." Oh, mm. those guys. Yeah, so I block them. <laughs> Yeah, no, like this. Not uh, nobody says get over it. They say kind of in mm. the vibe of, mm. "Acha, it's been a week, uh, so I yeah. think it's about time." Yeah. Oh, it's been a month. Okay, yeah. so, so uh, like I fully relate to Gina. End of the day, <laughs> <laughs> nobody there. <definitely. laughs> so yeah, so uh, I've had some very bad breakups, but then, but I don't know. It's a yeah. mess. Like I think Abish has been. Abish has just been. I also had many problems. Workaholic, so I never took time out. Mm. So I had to work through the breakup. Got it. So mm. then, then I think that's the guilt. Ki I should not be sad while I'm at work. So I only created this dumb problem. Okay. But the last bad breakup I remember, I realized my pattern and I didn't take up a work for a month. Nice. And I just was at home. I just sat. Nice. Got up, sad. Got yeah. through the day. Uh, because I had learned from three breakups before. Ki I tend to it. push it away. Mm. So it's like okay, one month you're allowed to yeah. be full time. So you need to process it. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I've not had this nice wholesome. No, no, but this. It's very calorie rich. Yeah. yeah, and it's in no, tandem it's also. Lovely, yeah. And it's in tandem also where we also really want our space. Yeah. yeah. Like we both know that if it's also like, hey, you wanna hang? You wanna? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. We also know when they want space and. No, yeah. but it's lovely that yeah. you have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand. We figured out a. Yeah. It's yeah. something to look forward to. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. A lot of food is going. Yeah. To yeah so <laughs> like, if you get in a relationship and it's going really <laughs> well, you guys will get annoyed. Like, ah, re, break up, he didn't even. And dude, sometimes the thing is, uh, you know, even if she's not said it explicitly, uh, like it's very easy to figure out because suddenly too many plans are being made, oh. uh, and you know that okay, this person needs it. Yeah. Oh. Like recently, we, we went on a three movie spree on the same day, and we're like, okay. I, I I know for sure. Yeah, What's going on? It's your breakup, breakup, yeah. but crisis is but there. But I get it that there's some sadness there. You know, yeah. it's, and it's not always about love, guys. I'm yeah. just saying it yeah, could yeah. be anything. Of course, yeah. but I, because you see, you know the pattern, and then when someone's gone into the, you know, they've just gone a little off road. You're like, okay, something's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we made the three movie plan, no one addressed that we're both feeling 
shit. Okay? Yeah. Like, but if you watch like this was okay, there in the middle of the movie, when an interval happens, they're like. <laughs> Oh my god as soon as movie is not playing sad no <laughs> yeah. yeah no uh, i'm also thinking about what you ask i've also underestimated how much i need people yeah i keep yeah. i keep thinking i was just going to say actually i'm fine dealing with it by myself yeah. but every time i uh, make a plan and i go out my, i have so much fun mm. that i only realize i actually really like people yeah. but yeah. i've convinced myself that i don't i don't yeah. i don't need a lot i think it happens to us all i think we also snap out when i got like maine pehle kyun nahi kiya like yeah. you know we, we had this pattern yeah. but i've been sulking i don't yeah. i might you guys i told you 10 days i've been sulking blah blah and when i snap out of it i meet and i'm like you know what i could have done this yeah. like at least 7 days back yeah. uh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'll just have one last thing on friendship for Gina. Uh, <laughs> and, and this is not advice. Okay, Gina, no, I'm not trying to be this. But the best hack I have figured out with successful friendship is figure out who's good at what. Okay. You know, sometimes when I need empathy, I know I'm screwing up. Okay. Mm. But there are some people who tell you, you know, you screwed up like this. You're like, dude, I know. Yeah. So that time go to your more empathetic friends. And sometimes you're like, I've had too many emotions. Now I need someone to someone be like, bro, what are you doing? Calm down, you know. <laughs> Then I go to those guys. So yeah. just figure out who's good at what. And you know, if you pivot your expectations, and that way they can also ration it out. You're not going to them all the time. And when you go, they're like, "Ha, to ye kar, to ye kar, to ye kar." That's that's great. That's yeah. great hack. That's a great hack. Yeah. yeah. But what if all your friends are toxic? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I left them in school. <laughs> <laughs> if all friends are toxic, something is wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How can all be toxic? <laughs> okay, so this uh, we've had such a great opening. Thank you. Those were lovely. Um, answers so so just to give precious a break i Your put bias. a fun one okay Who? okay i love this question yeah i don't know if he's being funny but it's mm. this question is too good hi kenny i've always uh, been a person who gets along better with girls than guys then i started dating my girlfriend and she taught me boundaries mm. and told me that is not okay to be so friendly with girls oh man this now question. i have distanced myself mm. from all those friends in college and it's difficult to find new people towards the end of college life do you think this is a red flag if a guy has only female friends uh okay he has asked me to keep him anonymous so i will cut that part out <laughs> okay uh, but it's actually multiple questions one is um o- always been with girls as a guy girlfriend has taught him boundaries mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and said it's not okay to be so friendly with girls and third question is do you think it's a uh red flag Uh, if a guy has only female friends, and I'm guessing yes. vice versa as well. Okay, I got you, brother. <laughs> I got you. Okay, I've not had only female friends, but I've had a lot of female friends. Yeah. Right from He, school, boy, college, yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, I've okay. Just flog the flog to you, yeah. d- dude. And in a friendly way, genuinely. Yeah. I'm still friends with my school friends. I've I, I actually I'm, I think I have a bigger group with female friends compared to guy friends. and this i understand where you're coming from society makes you feel as if you know uh, one to av uh, people have a lot of times asked me are you like homosexual because you know that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's that's a cliche that's what jealous guys yeah that's a cliche <laughs> ask guys, guys who, who are, are Holistic. I'm like I'm sorry I met girls young and I know how to talk to them without yeah. wanting to fuck them okay yeah. uh, but so this, this is triggering a lot of guys because this is a skill a lot of guys don't have so yeah, so be a little humble I, I feel no no Maybe but this is the reason <laughs> no the thing is they keep uh, it's dude yeah. also I understand where this guy come from he's saying red flag I know he's gotten shamed for it a lot yeah. where people are like how can you there's something wrong what is and all that so brother firstly it's okay to have for Dude, just look at the previous question. You have a lot of friends. Firstly, be thankful for that. Mm. Be it guy, be it female, doesn't matter. Okay. Second thing is yes, society might shade you, might call it red flag or whatever it is. But again, and I'm sorry for repeating, but just be thankful that you have good friends because with age you'll realize doesn't matter male, female, whatever. If someone is there for you, just be grateful that they are there for you. Second part about you know girlfriend having taught him boundaries. the thing is that has never happened in my case because um, i think it, i've been the insecure one so, <laughs> <laughs> so you have been setting <laughs> i've been setting boundaries like no men uh, but <laughs> yeah. so that is there so i've not had that issue and also like some of these friends like prashasti that we relatively still a newer friend which is still like 6 7 years now Whoa. but like my school six, friends is a are, new friend i'm just saying relatively Damn. compared to school right. friends compared to school, school like friends. school i've known since you know my class 10 or whatever so this issue i've not had so that i 
I mean, I don't know if there's some specific incidents that have happened and that's why your girlfriend is saying that. I can understand. But uh, maybe I think if you just tell your partner that brother, like I'm very open with whoever I'm dating that I have these friends and I know it's not healthy, but I'm like, you can see my chats also because it's really like I have nothing to why hide. Why do you say that's not healthy? I think that's fine. No, I'm just saying like some people say, no, you shouldn't show chats and all. But for me, it's like it's a confidence building measure. Yeah. I'm like, right. Dekhle. It's one of those things you offer, but when they take up the offer, you're like, what? Yeah, then yeah. I'm like, you also got to show that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my point is so that I think if you speak with your girlfriend, also just make them meet. I think that always solves half the problems. Yeah. The moment your friends meet the partner, some will continue hating. Mm. But I think most are like, oh, okay. I get the vibe now. Yeah. Because, you know, I think a lot of things, because I have been very insecure, I've seen that, like, say, uh, if I'm dating you, okay, and I've heard a lot about Prashasti, and I'll build up this thing that, you know, maybe there's this, mm. maybe there's that. But when I meet that guy, it's very like, That's true. oh, he's just, yeah. you know, this guy. Yeah. So I think if you can make them meet, it's okay. And brother, uh, but the main point is partner, no partner, don't lose your friends because of all this nonsense. You made friends, keep them. So I'll come back to you on the vice versa situation. Yeah. So, uh, I'm thinking because I have not see in college I've not had the situation because I think it, it, other than engineering college it was the opposite. Like mm. I think there were more men than women, mm. uh, and uh, with my boyfriend also at the time uh, I knew <laughs> he was also in engineering college only. Mm. Okay, so I was like he's got to he's come to my college yeah. to find a girl. So, yeah. Yeah. so never had this insecurity. Mm. Um, but I totally agree with Saurav in the sense that uh, and as grown-ups you see it more. Okay, the gen- In our head it's not a gender doesn't mm. matter only, right? Mm. You, have f- you have friends and you, sometimes you forget how many male or female mm. friends I have. Someone actually points it out you don't have yeah. any female friends or what? Yeah. Like what the fuck? But uh, <laughs> oh. because because I, like, I think it, it becomes a mm. f- function of your workplace or college also, right? Whatever is if he's for example in, in, in a college where there are more women, he he will be friends with more women, right? Yeah. Uh, like I am in an environment where there are typically more men. Not so much now, any, but you know, in my tech days or MBA days, always there would be more men, and that used to be the default. Mm. Uh, but I think from a relationship point of view, uh, I feel that of course when you're young, it's quite normal to yeah. feel this kind of jealousy yeah. from the from the girlfriend's yeah. point yeah, of view, right? Yeah. Yeah. That uh, you know, he has so many friends, mm. and this is when you're young, you also know that everyone is experimenting with things. Mm. Uh, and today's young people are also fairly, mm. you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like they are like, you know. We, we, this, She's calling you all sluts. Guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> they like to experiment with formats. There's no okay? boundaries. There's no boundaries. Yeah. There's no yeah. rules. Uh, so see, the thing is, I don't know what exactly is happening with yeah, them. But I, I would like to say that while a, the, what Saurav is saying is true, I think that some amount of insecurity also can it's be very cool. natural. Okay. Uh, that, that doesn't mean that you have to abandon your friends. Uh, I feel uh, as a grown-up also, I, I realize now that when I am into someone who probably has a lot of uh, women friends or whatever, it makes a difference. I think the only thing that makes a difference now uh, is if I know about their intention. Like as If I know about the... the uh, if this person is sure mm. about me or if I know that this huh. person if I trust this person yeah. fundamentally mm. then nothing makes a difference yeah. Yeah. Uh, because you can never control the people who yeah. this person will interact with yeah. or whatever yeah. so I would want to assume that this, uh, this person had the best intentions for me or for whatever we have and even after that if something ends up happening ever uh, I mean in the broadest context that if someone else comes into mm. their life now then I mean the attraction must have been so strong mm. okay then for, I'm I just that's how I tell talk to yeah. myself because uh, you can never get into I mean yeah. even if I meet all the friends mm. okay beyond a point you never know what someone's yeah. intent you know okay, someone could like this guy okay yeah. some friend of course if you yeah. friend you have proximity but if if, if your person is yeah. giving you the security yeah. then I think a yeah. lot gets solved yeah so yeah okay every, anytime I've had this problem in relationship I think it was not them saying Ki, I don't like this girl or whatever, I, they just wanted, uh, if, if I speak from, if my girlfriend said, I don't like your female mm. friend, since it's about mm. the guy, mm. I realized they only want immediate reassurance. Yeah. It's not the girl, it's like, hey, what are you saying? Fully understand. Yeah. I'm sorry you feel there's yeah. a weird vibe, but yeah. there's no way by you, my number one priority. Yeah. I think when you see like, it's my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You are suffocating yeah. me. Yeah. Like yeah. that reaction is all yeah. like, okay. Yeah. So it's, it was never about 100, the girl. It was, as you said, yeah. it's just 
they actually just want reassurance and yeah. it's if i being very real here yeah cuz i'm usually, about to it's usually <laughs> about one or two attractive yeah. friends you have <sighs> i have gone out with a lot of my <laughs> ugly uh, female <laughs> friends not a peep not a peep <laughs> Uh, and to be uh, oh. to be fair, this credit I'll give to Trace. Trace, this is Trace's joke. Mm. Ki it's uh, all all pro- pe- people only have problems with attractive friends. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, thank yeah. you for laying yeah. on there. It's yeah. also the, it's, I was telling Sora very recently. It's not just looks. It's also sometimes and we the, all have this intuition, wide. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. charismatic. Well, you know, yeah. I sense there's some. Yeah. There's some yeah. something here. Yeah. There's some intention here yeah. that probably you are not getting. You don't know, yeah. but I I yeah. can see it. Yeah. So it's it's that correct. Sometimes yeah. among your seven, eight, ten friends, uh, I'll pick up like one friend. Yeah. Okay. Also, <laughs> like I want to say this that uh, firstly, brother, uh, if your girlfriend is little like suspecting things, she's very valid in that because yeah. I have seen friends. doing shit okay so let's not even yeah. pretend that all friends yeah. some are harami okay uh-huh. we know we know men we know women both you know everyone possible. don't need to spend so much time with them also okay, what's yeah. going on all i'm saying is it's possible so yeah. sometimes if the concern is there it's it's sure it's, and like you said you know it really depends on the person like i have been very insecure okay and right now the partner that i'm with is my family going to see this okay fine <laughs> uh, right but right now the partner yeah. with she's had more like say exes blah 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 than even the people that have been insecure with but with her i don't feel it okay yeah. so it really comes down to that person and it just do sometimes all the theory blah 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 but it's just sometimes some people make you feel more secure and some people don't and of course you got to work on yourself also before people like hey tere pe hai mere pe hai mai mujhe pata hai but i'm just saying it uh, it comes down to the person also like you said no like you need immediate reassurance some yeah. could, someone could need other things all i'm saying is you have to figure your partner out it's usually and some people are two or three people that. actually but yeah. if they have yeah. a problem with everybody then yeah they, like, then it's yeah. their problem yeah. like i know i've had that kind of issue so that is that is something i have worked on in therapy blah Blah, blah, yeah. blah, that you can't have an issue with yeah. majority, not everyone, but you get what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. So that part you work on, and then some part you also figure out how your partner is. Correct. Feeling. I think when I, if it's fundamentally clear between the two of you, like the, mm. if you can have this kind of conversation yeah. where you know this. I just all I need is reassurance. Yeah. That's yeah. why I end up saying yeah. these things. You don't have to drop your friends also, yeah. and yeah. you're also more open to listen. It, it can be a funny thing, yeah. uh, but if mm. you can't, like, I, I, I think there's one more angle to it where mm. we're talking about dynamics or attraction. I think a lot of times, actually, what also happens because of course all of us at work, uh, you know, or we we have friends. from the opposite sex mm. and if i remember from my relationship that i never had the insecurity that my boyfriend will cheat on me or mm. be insecure. but i used to always feel very envious of the fact that he has some chemistry or, or the thing is they both do the same th- work mm. so they know they ha- can have better more intense conversations mm. and i always feel like i cannot get into it yeah. so it was not even that they'll get together or to be a relationship it is an intellectual it's, envy yeah, yeah. i'm like you should she's filling a need gap yeah, in his life yeah. that i can never yeah. and it's not that it does, anything has to happen there yeah. but it's like then but be but, honest if she was ugly would you care <laughs> 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 just be honest with me huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, i yeah, think end yeah. of the day <laughs> uh, yeah if she was not attractive i won't say ugly i'll say attractive yeah. i don't think and he was give a crap <laughs> yeah that's true uh, that's true <laughs> i have one uncle uncle yeah. uh, point also ha huh. I feel yeah. <laughs> bring it <laughs> very regressive. Give it, give it. Regress- give it swipe guy. Give it. Regressive coming. Give it. Regressive like, opinion oh, coming. I am the We most are. progressive on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are way more progressive. Okay, ready for this? Yeah. I feel every yes. guy, every girl, should have one good same sex friendship. Oh yeah. One good. You need that. Hundred percent. All I do feel. It is red flag when you don't have single. Oh, single yeah. of course, Strong. brother. Then it's yeah. The reason is he doesn't. I have think sense. too many female friends. Okay, we have given you too much credit there, brother. <laughs> so you're a one yeah. at least. Yeah, I've, that's I've, true. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. yeah. Then, that is the then, then kuch ho raha. That is the kuch to ho raha. Then kuch ho raha. Correct. Then, then because as a guy, if you only have female friends, women are very forgiving of mm-hmm. your. Because they they're very too very polite. They don't yeah, call yeah. you out. Guys call out immediately yeah. oh, yeah. from what I've yeah, experienced. Yeah, yeah. And when women. Only have guy friends. Guys are also like yeah, yeah. It's forgive. the same, correct? Yeah. Women yeah. call out women so much more yeah. like yeah. brutally. But if I only have guy friends, I'm like, oh my yeah. god, I'm so sad. You know, <laughs> <laughs> of this group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, so my uncle opinion. No, no, hundred percent. So let's reset the premise. This all everything we said only works when you have. <laughs> 
Both. few yeah. same gendered very yeah. good friends yeah. and then but just number is maybe higher on the other gender yeah, yeah. okay so, and ugly people we love guys, you have you so wholesome <laughs> oh man <sighs> i was so excited when i read it i'm like you both will love this um Okay. I feel like guys, this podcast can end recording wise, but I just want to talk more. <laughs> <laughs> guys, please keep talking. Yeah, it's very it's like I can go on for another ten minutes about <laughs> oh, this. Oh, but, for sure. But I editing is quite painful. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm also stopping. Otherwise, you see when you call cut, I'm gonna be like, can we go back? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this question, this is one opinion I wanted to share. So mm-hmm. I thought I'll ask your opinion also. Uh, anonymous. I don't know if she, uh, so Aditya says. I've been seeing this girl uh, recently and I really like her. We're not exclusive, but I still feel conflicted to see other people. On one hand, I feel conflicted, but on the other hand, I also feel like I wouldn't have tried or dated enough people if I don't actually meet and see other people mm. right now. I'm afraid what if I decide to get into a relationship too quickly and what if there's a better person for me out there? Mm. I really like this girl I'm dating right now, but this dilemma is so weird and restricting. I can't Very make weird. a decision. I got a few matches on dating apps. Mm-hmm. but i feel weird texting them or making a move any suggestions how do you overcome or settle this feeling what kind of approach should one be taking when getting into the dating market in general okay Stop feels weird calling it, calling it a market, market. <laughs> he said dating scene maybe thank you for the long recordings nice so the okay, okay. how old is he sorry just no idea. okay no idea so yeah a lot of these obviously in a realistic way we yeah. need next level context yeah okay but surface so this is open and i wanted to show okay. yeah 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 So recently, uh, Tracy's friend is got got into the dating market, and she had the same yeah. dilemma. Okay, <laughs> ki she met a nice fellow in the second match itself, mm. and she's not been in the dating scene too much. But she's like, now what is this? Like he's very nice, mm. but maybe I don't know enough. Yeah. So maybe I'm settling. So should I keep the other matches open? Should I go on just like the first dates with all of them? And then I stepped in because, mm-hmm. of course, I had to. Here's Uncle Kenny. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I Uncle have... Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Kenny. Sub, sub. Uh, okay, I was like, I have been through the fire. I don't yes. want her to burn. Yes. I was. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> so, yeah. I was like, I have done the same nonsense mm-hmm. approach, yeah. according to me. Yeah. Then you realize that human beings are not meant to be mm-hmm. so floofy. with people <laughs> yeah. okay we have a heart yeah we have a limited capability of caring yeah so this whole social media la every day i'm here yeah. one forest is burning global warming parents are getting old how much yeah. to care yeah. so even the dating it's unnatural to have six seven open strains of oh yeah dates you have found somebody awesome explore it give them that respect and time and also tell them that ki you know i'm not mm. seeing anyone else i hope you are also not mm. At the same time, we are not dating, mm. but you are a very nice yeah. person. I want to get to know you better. Yeah. And I shared this. Luckily, person listened to me. Yeah. And they're having a good time so far. She's divorced now. So. <laughs> <laughs> so but, uh, yes. yeah, that makes sense. So you had a thought which I. Oh oh no oh, okay yeah yeah. Uh, my thought is firstly, uh, it's a little age dependent, and I'll explain. Okay, not okay. just being an ageist. Okay. Not being an uncle, just like age, you know. Okay. But okay, first thing is. If you're not comfortable with in being an open relationship, that is question number one. You figure out what you're okay with. Oh, you could want to date multiple people over a period of time, or do you want to do it like together? Linearly or parallelly? Nah, linear. Oh. Okay, so first figure that out. Like I am not okay being an open relationship. I don't know if if other things. No, he said he's not exclusive. Ah, so we right? say okay. I think let's say non-exclusive. Non-exclusive. Uh, okay. So that means that it's not a really whatever. Okay, this so is on first date basis. Huh, so first figure that out. That what you what are you okay with? Second part is my my practical uncle opinion is guys. If you are young brother, don't settle. Okay, just go out, oh. date people because. Now that I'm older, that times around, but that girl was very into me. But now I've done enough that if when I now find someone nice, <laughs> I have no qualms about. But ye hota to wo hota tha, and I, I know the thing is, three of us, touch wood, have been lucky in having found enough partners, be it for whatever love or other things. I know financial people, gain, <laughs> financial gain. A lot of people don't. Because I've had a lot of people who got married young, or you know, had just been one relationship, and then later on, I've seen them. It takes a toll on it. Okay, so it's very easy to say that I think I found. The is, is the toll have, the fact that the relationship is not good, or the toll is that what if? It what if? Them? Because dude, if you've not been, the thing is, like you said, you've been through fire. Yeah. But you have to go through that fire. 
Now also when I recognize someone, I'm like, dude, I have seen <laughs> shit. So I know that this person's good. But you need to go through it. And I think you need to spend a few years in your youth to go through that. Date multiple people. It'll be full of heartbreaks. But later on, you won't have that regret. And also, I feel you'll find a better partner for yourself. Yeah. And stop being worried about, but if I let this person go, what, dude, if it's meant to happen, I know it's the worst thing. date shit. multiple people as in, you, you date them properly. Like, say yeah, you can date it. them properly. Go see whatever works for you. But I'm just thinking, don't be like, I think this is the one way too early. Okay. So when I said go through the fire, I don't mean the concept of date. I just mean that dating apps have created an unnatural situation. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Where you have too many options. Yeah. So then you kind of in your head, you even if you like someone, like you someone are like found maybe the right like person yeah. more. That uh, that yeah that, that greed comes. That in. greed for sure. Okay, I think because no one's perfect. Yeah. So you're always going to be like, but if I yeah. go out, I might find. Yeah. That of course you got to yeah, recalibrate that's where a little coming, bit. But I fully agree that. But also ideas. like I'm just saying, don't rush into it, yeah. especially when you're young. Once you've been through a few, then yeah, then yeah. then don't be an idiot. Okay, then brother with age. I think I have similar, but I think I'll just rephrase it. I, I, I was thinking, what will I tell my younger self mm. after all these years? Because I was in a very long committed relationship in the beginning of my yeah. I was thinking, uh, career, romantic career. <laughs> <laughs> Dating career? <laughs> Dating career. So, uh, and I am the kind of person who cannot, for example, I just, it really bothered. I'm, I've, been, I've tried this dating app thing. Yeah. So, uh, okay. uh, yes. yeah, it is, did not work for me. Okay. I mean, the idea of going, meeting people again, mm. same feeling. Okay. It is, it yeah, feels yeah. like fire. And I mm. wish that about nobody. Okay. Mm. But I, I also see that there's some people who probably enjoy this. So we have some, some people are that personality mm. who are like, we just cannot take mm. feeling lukewarm mm. or meh for multiple people and then trying to feel strongly yeah. and then figuring out so it's, it's it's a painful process uh i if i if i was younger i would i think i would the advice i would give my younger self would be same that do not think of it as final okay you have the advantage of age on your side mm. so maybe you're the kind of person who feels strongly about someone mm. and that is a hell yes okay and mm. in the moment you you feel ki probably this is the guy mm. and that's why the fo the fomo is ki okay should i uh, meet other people or not because mm. now I'm feeling strongly for a change uh, I would say if that happens to you probably go into it don't think of it as your final relationship mm. okay you have the advantage of time if you give it three months six months if things go work out well mm. they will if they don't then you can always date another person yeah. after that yeah. because some of us are not good at this you know the fine tuning or calibrating mm. when we get a strong feeling for mm. someone mm. and I think if you're old can you elaborate as in Cali calibrating as in? How, the, the, I've seen friends, for example. Some of my friends are actually very good at being very tikmaki about it. Oh, okay. Like, I think the approach, for example, she's saying, like, when you meet multiple people, you're like, oh, I like this one. Mm. But maybe if I meet someone else, I like that person more or that mm. person will be more of a fit mm. to who I am. Mm. Some of us actually function more intuitively where like, uh, we're meeting multiple people. It's all of it is zero or 0.5. And suddenly one person is a... Like, you know, you just feel that there's this a connection is, mm. and it happens rarely. But it's for in my in my case, that is how it is. I can't calibrate. I cannot mm. fit someone into, mm. you know, my like checklist. Okay. Card, yeah. yeah. And it, it has led to very bad decisions also. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> but is, I, I've been honest to how I feel, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm just saying that probably this, this person and I are very different personalities. Mm. But my point is that if, if you're feeling strongly for yeah. someone, yeah. Uh, it is rare. People don't understand it. Okay. So I, 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 don't, I don't know if she's saying that this person mm. checks, checks a lot of boxes or she's saying that I genuinely feel mm. strongly for a change. And now I'm confused if I should meet more people or not. Mm. Uh, my only thing is if you're young you can get into it and still get out of it but I don't know why people think of dating or getting a relationship as ki ab shaadi ho gayi yeah. hai because you can get out of it is what I feel no. but shaadi oh. karna chahiye aur <laughs> sex, <laughs> sex, sex <laughs> shaadi ke baad hi hona chahiye bas ye log jo UP se aate bahut progressive hai bhaiya guys <laughs> so, like uh, I mean for me personally the yeah. aha moment was yeah. this is also coming from little uh, hustle culture hmm. of I used yeah. to treat relationships like work because in work I experienced, I tried multiple uh, professions mm. and then this clicked for me. And then I put 200% of my energy and it flourished. And I realized relationship is fully opposite. It's an organic, illogical thing where uh, it might not click in the beginning. Mm. 
it clicks later and vice versa clicks mm. in the beginning doesn't click later uh. you could do everything right mm. person one day is like actually i don't want to be with you mm. no, you didn't do anything wrong yeah. so it's like it honestly does has yeah. so i realize it's end yeah. of the day is almost a decision yeah. got it but you think there is a, there has to be some initial click still right for yeah. you to give yeah. it of course uh, can tell me this if you are comfort you can of course not answer Come but on, like the it. thing is when did you when did it click in your mind that i think this is the one to marry yeah. because it's very different to date someone yeah. and let's be in a relationship yeah. compared to i think because that's like full life suddenly so what was it that changed i have a very clear answer it's like as simple as i luckily i've been in many relationships yeah which ended Woo! which ended pretty uh, pretty badly uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah and one relationship that i came close not i came close but it seemed externally that i would marry this person was a four plus year relationship but in my heart of heart mm. i was like i don't want to marry this person and i don't i had no re- i wouldn't say i had no reason i didn't mm. have a strong like of course this of course yeah. i mean mm. and they didn't do anything wrong mm. uh we were pretty our families got along i just maybe it was my age thing mm. i was very mature also mm. and then after that also in my head i was like now anybody i date i'm going to go with the purpose of marriage still it didn't happen again i went in another relationship mm. like now i will go mm. don't date somebody that you don't mm. see as mm. your wife yeah mm. still i did again didn't work out fully my fault cuz i actually didn't see them mm. then i sat down and i was uh thinking what what is truly the metric to marry somebody and i had to like like then i put the standard what i put to myself which is i want to be a good husband and a good, i want to be a good father so for me to be a good father is i have to be first as a guy financially secure mm. second as a father i can't be uh volatile okay uh So I know it sounds very nice. judgy. No, no, no. It's, I get what it's, you're it sounds very yeah. judgy. Like I would not mm. get drunk and pass yeah, out, yeah. and then I don't want my wife to be like, "Where are you?" Mm. You know, like you can't be a father like that. Mm. And then I was like, "Wait, then just apply that. Who do you think will be a good mom mm. according to you?" Mm. Then I, it was very clear. Then then I'm like, "Do you see her as a mom to your children?" Mm. And by the way, I don't even know if I want to have kids. No, no, but I get it's, yeah. it's a test you yeah. put. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So. it kind of like eased out the noise in my head got it and uh, then i realized my first reaction was kenny this is very high standard i don't think you'll find anybody mm. you need to lower your standard mm. so then that is my honest reaction that mm. i don't think anybody like yes. this exists yeah like me <laughs> <laughs> and then then when i genuinely met trace mm. i've told this to on her face mm. three months in i was like what's the catch three months in yeah i was like oh. what's the catch she's like what When are you start going to be crazy? <laughs> bless her heart, she didn't leave me that day. She's like, "What?" I said, "Come on!" Wow. I was being funny, but yeah, genuinely, yeah, yeah, I meant yeah. it. I was like, "Cause it was my insecurity coming yeah. on. Like, this is too good. It's going to end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to yeah. feel bad. Can I just? Yeah. Can I not do this? Also, three months is perfect timing because that's when the yeah. read out. Everything yeah. was excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, Venice. Because I was like, she's very good at keeping yeah. up this facade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, when? And uh, by the way, I I was very ages with her. Mm. She's four years younger than me. Mm. And I had to. It, it was just they also know how I famously think anyone who's young is dumb. <laughs> I was very ages, and I, I don't know why she didn't leave. Uh, I was like, she's you're young and you you know you're too nice. So something's off. She's like nothing is off. <laughs> I think she could recognize it's my insecurity, it's yeah. my problem. Uh, and then when we went to Goa together, and I spent so much time with her during COVID. Um, then out of nowhere. Mm. it came like yeah hey, i can marry this person got it and i never felt that about anybody it's not like i felt 10% or 30% got it i felt nothing like that ever mm. before mm. and then when i was with trace this feeling came off um, and also we've been through my her dad went through a heart attack my dad went through a heart attack mm. we went through some really and it it was a uh, no one made it about themselves got it we reacted immediately as what can we do to help each other so like obviously they were like nice things like that but yeah it was again i don't know why i have reached this point maybe mm. because i'm 
ఫార్మోర్ <laughs> stable in mm. processing interactions with people that it's not that oh if someone is driving me crazy yeah. uh, that is the right person for yeah. me it's i think i look more for i think gentler feelings mm. um but i think correct from i think the difference could be that i think for, for the longest time i think after my first breakup first relationship i was fully ki is this shaadi karni mm-hmm. okay <laughs> but then i think i've, I've become very mm. skeptical about marriage and that's why my approach to relationships is never with this what will it lead to mm. and if that is the problem you are trying to solve if you are looking into a genuine relationship just for the fun of the relationship mm. then i would say follow your intuition and probably give people mm. give one person the right amount of time and uh, you know opportunity mm. to fully be themselves and then you can always move on from there if it doesn't work out is yeah. what i was going from yeah. uh, but i totally get this and i would i get this more now mm. than before that yeah and i would like to add i think is the first relationship where i truly felt like no matter how pathetic i get she would accept it yeah, yeah. and i yeah. never felt like i mean to, that's actually fully her credit where yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the first time i could drop my Same. sorted really like the guilt of yeah. feeling yeah. what i did and yeah. she was unperturbed and i yeah. was like what yeah so yeah, yeah. and i know th- yeah. exactly like i je- just want to endorse this what you're saying that you know for people who sometimes worry is this the one not the one dude when it's the one yeah. or it's closest to the Clear one who will day. get yeah. the answer yeah. 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 believe me if you are anyway having these doubts yeah. i see it as percentages you know cuz nothing is black and white cuz even i feel like even when you're really sure about someone you could always be like but what if yeah. not because they aren't good but that's just how human nature is but i'm just saying that the gap between that person and the other person is too wide hmm. so you trust your instinct and you'll know yeah, yeah. if you're already feeling like he's like who oh, i need to look at other then brother it's not the yeah. one okay just go out, just go and, and i think that is where i think the whole age thing becomes yeah. all of us basically are in the end saying that we are more mature people now uh, and you know your when you also find out to get married you had learned enough in life and you had clarity and somehow some someone just came magically yeah. and yeah. fit into that magically is very important because yeah, 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 yeah. i could have done all of this yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, nobody out of found nobody city so, for the nobody <laughs> I'm I so mature. <laughs> yeah. Why no one here? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> I think I'm perfect. I'm yeah, perfect. Yeah. What do I improve? <laughs> <laughs> I have reached peak oh, perfection. Yeah. What to do now? I was telling a friend that you know I keep reading all this dating, uh, dating self help advice. Which is, you know, the only thing you can do is work on yourself. Mm. I'm like, if I work more on myself, <laughs> <laughs> you go reverse. Yeah, I tip off the thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. People uh, really don't talk about the luck and death, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> luck coincidence stuff. and yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel this intuition that we talk about. I think when you work on yourself and you've seen enough life, I think your intuition only becomes. so much better that when the right person comes you're able you able to quickly yeah. recognize yeah. i think yeah. that is what is missing when you're young and only yeah. that's why it makes sense to mm. meet more people yeah. but again i think we can trust your develop an intuition yeah. and trust yeah. it probably uh, i also want to add something if i, I don't have traces yeah. i'm comfortable uh-huh. with this but uh what you just said is uh if i had put out a i don't know if i want to get married i don't mm. know if i'm serious mm. i don't know what i want mm. i think uh, Trace was giving a very clear I'm looking for a life partner vibe. Yeah. Yeah. And if I had given off that unconscious she wouldn't mm. have entertained the Yeah. And uh, so I think it also kind of hit things but you attract the vibe you give out. Yeah. Mm. Uh I'm saying even if we had met accidentally and I was saying like 
floofy things like yeah, yeah. we could date we could see yeah. where this goes yeah i think she would have been turned off by it 100% and um, her being also so clear about yeah. what you want also with like reassured me mm. like oh sh- if i ask her to marry me uh, if it fucks up it'll be my fault only Got like it. she seems like very she clear wants to make it work so i need to be on that level mm. or i should stop wasting her time mm. um, so i feel i want to add that also Yeah. Uh guys I'm very sorry but you've come to the end of the podcast. Oh, what? Wow. Guys I did not. Oh, don't move. I'm guys, very don't sorry. Move. I was very tempted oh, to man. take oh, one more question nice. but I will call you guys again. This duo is a beautiful duo. Hey. So I'm very actually I didn't This is the first time on this po- Yeah, the yeah. first time on I'm yeah. the first time yeah. obviously. So, so I want to call back this yeah. duo cuz I have I have two three more questions. How many did we cover? Three questions, right? We did four, I think. But I think we covered full life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, very wonderful. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having us. us. Of course, Saru, are you are you doing any shows or something? Because usually plug a show. Here. Now I'm back in Bombay, so you okay. might see, but uh, nothing. I mean, look, just usual. Book my show. Just go. Yeah, yeah go to book my show. Search yeah. Saru Mehta. No need to search me on Instagram. I'm not active. <laughs> He's not active, but uh-huh. you can find him on Instagram. Yeah, follow. And he has a girlfriend already, but he's open to female friends. Yes, I'm open to female friendship. I have a so, lot of experience. Don't worry, I'm not creepy at all. Yeah. You can ask. I give five Shasta. star. Yes, five star. And uh, if you ever do the breakup, uh, yeah, breakup comfort routine, please yes. give them credit. Okay. Yes. yes. Don't just steal stuff. <laughs> And plus, any shows coming? Up? I will start my uh, tour of my new show from next month. Right now, I'm uh, figuring it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, September. Uh, yeah, mid September onwards. I will. I'll be announcing it soon. Uh, but mid September onwards, I'll be traveling uh, through India and maybe Ooh. Dubai and Singapore. Nice. Uh, oh damn. So yeah, that and is. Dubai I mean, right now it's in the works. Uh, I need to fix the show yeah. first. But I will be announcing it soon. And right now you're doing a lot of trial shows in Mumbai. Yeah, yeah, in Mumbai. So come off, see the birth of. Yeah. the next masterpiece <laughs> yeah <laughs> you want to say it that face <laughs> <laughs> so yeah thank you for your questions they were lovely thank you for opening up and uh, uh, please send your questions on on instagram on the simple can page so that way it's easier for me to find uh, because it, this was very hard like to cover 280 questions and uh, so it's uh, I miss out on stuff but if you can do episodic wise so if it's under Saurav and Prashasti the next time they come I'll ask them that mm-hmm. otherwise this so anyway thank you so much you can also listen to the podcast if this is a massive commitment on all audio platforms yes. except Doordarshan <laughs> they didn't allow okay. they said we we said fuck and all no oh yeah yeah I'm so, so sorry, they don't allow yeah. uh, this is Yash's favorite joke he has gotten up <laughs> so uh, except Doordarshan is there everywhere. and uh, leave comments like something can you rate it on these uh, audio podcast platforms uh, because if you don't rate no all this huh yeah thumbs up thumbs up on spotify and apple and all you can follow there oh spotify is love obviously very woke uh, app <laughs> But please do that otherwise if you don't do that you will get conspiracy th- conspiracy theory podcasts okay so like this stuff and uh, Nothing against conspiracies they're not true <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for tuning in tata bye bye